Listen, lady, if I wanted me a wife, I would have got me one a long time ago. But I don't want one, and I certainly don't need one. Oh, don't you, Mr. Chase? Just look at you. You're out at the elbows and the knees. And just look at this place. I'll bet you live on pancakes, potatoes, and beans. If you accept my offer, you'll eat a lot better, and I'd still save you money. With two kids? Two children, a good horse and buggy, two dozen laying hens, and ten head of cattle, including the milk cow. Add a lean-to against that far wall, and you can have your bedroom at one end of the cabin, and the children and I can be at the other. Now, just a minute. First you start talking about Reverend Thompson, now you're talking about splitting my house down the middle. Lady, you don't make any sense. Mr. Chase, I'm not looking for a husband any more than you are looking for a wife. What I am proposing is a marriage in name only. What you'll get is three hot cooked meals a day, your clothes washed and pressed, and a house that's always spick and span. And uh, all this for taking on three people and having my house torn up. In a month, you'll wonder how you ever got along without us. 